Hello everyone, welcome to this install video for the EcoFlow Power Ocean. This is the six kilowatt hybrid inverter. It's got three five kilowatt batteries. And we'll take you through just how easy this is to install and commission, get it up and running. And then at the end of the video, we'll have a quick look at the EcoFlow app so we can see the figures that they show you, all the data that you can see. This one's installed in one of our own properties. It's been in for a few weeks now. Uh, the 15 kilowatts of storage is fantastic and the six kilowatt charge and discharge rate is great. Let's crack on with the video then. Let's have a look at how we install this bit of kit. So it's modular design as in it's gonna just, the base is gonna go there and it's gonna stack up that wall to the inverter at the top. Uh, so this is the base if we, open this if we can there we go. flip it around open up. and in there we've got a template which i'm not normally a massive fan of templates because i find they just get in the way but this one i think is going to be a bit different uh in here i just want to look at this because in this little box if i can show it you properly in there you have got the little feet adjustable feet to get us all nice and level and then there's a couple of anchors or raw bolts or whatever you want to call them sleeve anchors whatever um to bolt us to the floor once we've done it so there's the feet there's that there's that there's that bear with me because i'm doing this one handed while i try and unpack if we just pop the box out of the way a little minute Back to this and back, and we'll get to see. That's what we want to see. That is the base. Two holes there, I assume, to drill through and secure it to the floor, which looks brilliant. Obviously, we've got our um, our level there to make sure that we're level in all ways, shapes, or forms. Uh, and then once that's there, the idea being, I think that this sits on top of the base. Oh my God. So that sits on top of the base, and then you strap it to the wall, drill your holes, take the template away, and just build the thing. So far, it looks pretty groovy. When you come to unbox a battery, this is pretty cool, okay? Lots of instructions on the battery, uh, on the boxes themselves. It tells you the secrets of what to do. But basically, you've got that there, you've got that there, you've got that there. And then in here, you've got these little tabs, which you clamp in and you pull out on both sides, clamp in, clamp in and pull out and then the box should, bear in mind I am one handed yet again, ta-da, the box comes off, ignore the camera work and then in there you've got your warranty card, fixings, A couple, another, another couple of, uh, of wall bolts, raw bolts, dropping anchors, whatever we're calling them. So that's that. And then, you just, like I say, your wall brackets themselves. And then if you lift that off, you can leave there. Is the battery, which up nicely and that basically that is your battery some very substantial handles there to lift it to get it into place and that once it's in position will drop onto that the next one will drop on the next one will drop on and then the inverter will drop on the top at least that's the theory let's see how we get on Templates on the wall, the base is on the floor. I'm going to put that uh, template on more securely now. I'm going to drill the holes and then we're just going to add this battery on. You can see here we have screwed the um, these brackets onto the back of the battery. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them into place, get them bolted to the wall, and then I'm going to tighten them up once they're on. But that's a pretty good idea. It shows you what size kit you're going to be using uh, and where to pop your holes, which is very good. So we'll crack on and do that. Excellent then, so within seconds of saying that, we've drilled it, we've got the base in place, we've put the first battery in and we've secured it back. We're nice and level, according to Mr Milwaukee. 
introduce yourself, Mr Milwaukee. So we're nice and level and it's nice and secure. That battery is literally not going anywhere. So literally it's the case now, the next battery just sits on top, bolts in place exactly the same. So we'll get the next one on. Then we added on battery number two in literally a matter of seconds. And we're just gonna whack on battery number three and the inverter will sit nicely on top. There we go, battery number three in position. Took them out of seconds to get it on. Then we're gonna whack the inverter on now. It'll just slide on the top. It's good how these connect together because literally they all are married up by this. So it all just sits on and you pop it in place. It's looking, it's beginning to look very, very snazzy. There she is so far. Three five kilowatt batteries, a beautiful inverter, all modular, all sitting on top, all looking nice and sleek. Um, performance wise some of the features that these things have got arc fault detection on the dc side each battery's got a fire extinguisher built into it but each battery's got a heating and a cooling element so they get too hot or cold they can regulate their temperatures um there's some actually incredible um features and benefits to this kit it doesn't just look good um that inverter is a six kilowatt hybrid inverter on the top so it's got six kilowatt charge and discharge if you go through a changeover switch you can then have full house backup at six kilowatt you'd obviously have to make the correct arrangements for your earthing um but yeah absolutely fantastic bit of kit system's all up and running now guys um basically it was a doddle you have to just connect the mains to it, which is very, very straightforward. Your solar connects in just two MC4 connectors. Uh, one for, sorry, four MC4 connectors, two for each string. So that just goes straight in. Uh, your data cable is very easy. That goes in as well. And then it just commissioned. The commissioning was just so quick. It detects everything for you um, and just takes you through the whole process. Nice and simple. So there we go, great bit of kit, really enjoyed installing that and getting it up and running. We're looking at the EcoFlow app now as we speak, and obviously this is the data, this is the, the, the end user, the customer app. So these are the details that they'll be able to see. We're looking at solar generation uh, for the day, the current day, and we can go at different times of the day to see what we were producing at that time and what the battery level was. We can also see the data for the week and for the month as well. We could do the same for the grid usage. So again, we can look at what we used on that day, uh, that week and that month. And we could do the same again for our consumption, for what we've actually used, same figures, day, week, month. Uh, and that'll tell us what we've consumed and where we've consumed it from. So whether it's gone from solar, battery, or it's actually come from the national grid itself. So it's a good little app. It, uh, it gives you all the key data and figures that you'd expect. So thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. That was the EcoFlow Power Ocean Hybrid System. Hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon.